Hey guys, it's TechZet again. My name is Steve and in this video I'm going to speak about the Huawei P Smart Z which is a notchless uh, mobile phone with a pop-up camera. I would like to tell you like different things like uh, usability things about the battery, uh, the application legs and uh, for example is it comfortable to sit with the phone in your pocket or not mm, and things like that. I've used the phone for uh, almost two weeks so I will tell you my experiences. Either way I would like to speak about the specification in some uh, words. So it has 8 core uh, processor, 4 gigs of RAM uh, 64 gigs of uh, storage. The first thing that I would like to talk about is the battery. It has a 4000 mAh battery. It took uh, approximately 2 hours to charge from 0% to 100%. It uh, lasted around one and a half day uh, and I was using it uh, intensively so I think it's uh, pretty good and uh, something more that yeah it has no fast charging uh, capability so that's a pretty sad thing so the next thing that i would like to talk about is the display i think it's a great display it's an ips uh, panel uh, the difference between ips and amoled is that <coughs> the pixel if it's black uh, it uh, turns off on uh, amoled uh, yeah, so this phone has an IPS uh, panel, mm, by the way it has a no notch thanks to the pop-up camera, uh, it has around a 90% screen body ratio so it's pretty great and uh, also it has a good brightness, I had no problem with it and uh, it has great colors too. And it has also a blue light filter, which is a pretty good thing, but uh, it has a green color, which you can't adjust. So I think it's not great because I think yellow is more pleasant for my eyes. Uh, and uh, yeah, and my iPhone 8 has also a blue light filter and it has a yellow color. It's uh, more pleasant for my eyes and for everybody else's eyes. So yeah, on a Huawei you cannot adjust the blue light filters color but uh, the normal modes color you can adjust. What else should I tell about the display? Yeah, the reading, I think it was a pretty good experience like uh, to read on this uh, big display. I can uh, compare it with my little small uh, iPhone 8 and uh, yeah, if we compare the two like uh, reading feelings then uh, the, on the Huawei it's more pleasant and good, better. Okay, so let's speak about the cameras. On the back of the device we can find two cameras, on the front we can find like zero cameras, but they have a solution for this with the pop-up uh, mechanism. As you can see, um, yeah, the little problem that I'm like, I think a lot of people like putting uh, their phones into their pockets this way so that the <coughs> upper side of the phone is on the bottom side of your pocket so it uh, like finds a lot of dust and other things <coughs> as you can see on this video but uh, otherwise I think uh, it, it is like a cool feature and uh, yeah you can have a notchless display this way by the way, in the camera mode, you have a lot of uh, features. You have like night mode, portrait mode, uh, you have like a professional mode where you can adjust different things, ISO, ISO for example, and uh, you have also slow motion, panorama, HDR. Yeah, HDR is not automatic, so you have to turn it on or off. It also has a light painting, filters, time-lapse, AR lens and uh, stickers. Yeah, and it has an AI function which uh, like recognizes the situation, so it uh, like adjusts the uh, colors, the 
lights, the what else? I don't know what else, but like it makes a better picture overall. So I think it's beneficial to use it all the time. When making videos with the phone, it has like a small problems. I wanted to make a video about cars, but it has like serious focus problems. So I would recommend this phone for making photos instead of uh, like shooting videos and uh, it also lacks image stabilization. Ok guys, this is a video with the selfie camera. I'm in the room, in a pretty uh, bright room, but now I'm going into a darker room, so I'm interested in the like changing focus and things like that. Ok, now you cannot even see me. Yeah, I think the camera is pretty great and I'm curious about the quality of this sound. So this is a pretty big phone, but uh, it wasn't uncomfortable to wear it in my pocket uh, when I was standing or I was sitting. But if you are a girl, then maybe you should like bring it in your purse because I think it won't fit your uh, trousers. Okay, what else should I tell you about this phone? I will like cheat a little bit, so sorry about that. Uh, the phone's back is uh, made of plastic, which is like I think a little bit cheap, and you can also feel it if you clock it a lot of times. Mm, yeah, the back of the device also like uh, features a fingerprint scanner, which is pretty fast, as uh, I think, uh, but you can also see it on the video. And uh, yeah, I think you don't need a case for this phone because the back of the device like sticks to your palm, so no sloppy feeling or anything else. And uh, it's like a magnet of fingerprints and dust, but uh, never mind because if you put it in your uh, pocket, then it clears all the things. And uh, yeah, something more that I think the like it fits to your uh, palm and like, like fall to my phone yeah and also it has like a good weight uh, imagine if it would be from like uh, glass it would be much like heavier let me speak a couple of words about the system itself i will again cheat a little bit maybe i can make a new genre like cheating tech videos or something like that never mind so I think the system was really fast, but I experienced some lags. Maybe that's because I was using iPhone before and uh, I think iOS is uh, much more fluid. Yeah, so I was using YouTube. I saw I was checking out the video and uh, it quitted two times after each other. But uh, after that, I haven't had a problem with it. I don't know what, what was the cause of the problem, mm, never mind. Yeah, and uh, when I was seeing the video in landscape mode, I covered the speaker with my finger and I realized it after like one or two minutes because the sounding was really boring. Yeah, it can happen. Mm, I think they put the speakers into the bad position. Yeah, so the speakers and uh, yeah, when I was typing on the phone, I felt that it would like to like roll out of my hands because the center of the gravity is far from my uh, like hand uh, palm. Yeah, that's because the phone is really big. And uh, something more, when I was downloading apps from the Play Store. Uh, like I experienced some lags that it uh, wouldn't like to start, so I had to restart, restart the phone, and after that it worked. Just a couple of words left. Let's speak about the GPS. I think it was really precise. I haven't had a problem with it. 
but uh, on the other side with the iPhone 8 I had some problems with the GPS yeah sometimes it just uh, like showed that I'm like half kilometer away and uh, it was really like frustrating and uh, things like that uh, we get a screen protector for the display like by default it's really thin so it protects against tiny scratches but if we like drop a glass on it then it will break so don't do that and uh, I would also like to mention that it's not waterproof so don't throw it in your toilet or into the river and uh, yeah it also features dual sim yeah so you can use it with two nano sims but if you would like to use one micro sd card then you have to say goodbye for one of your sim cards and uh, last but not least there's a feature on the fingerprint scanner that if you swipe it down then the upper menu bar appears and i had some like really weird experiences with that because i thought that it's a bug and so it wasn't a bug it was my fault so yeah i wouldn't like recommend it because uh, a lot of times you could like swipe down accidentally and uh, yeah if you like the video hit the like button if you want to sub hit the sub button and uh, yeah see you guys in the next one